Hey guys, this is Jeff with T-Rex Ecom. Uh, we're going to be going over campaigns today. So campaigns, um, you know, in, in your T-Rex software, you have uh, products already put in there. But uh, if you want to be able to display those, you have to put them in a campaign. So campaigns are individual groupings of products that we can style the page and, uh, and run ads to those certain things. So let's just jump in to uh, let's look at the Formula Golf Apparel campaign that I have. So first off, we hit Edit. So at the top here, you can set your name for it so you can find it easily. Uh, here's your permalink. So this is the, the actual link. When, uh, when someone's clicking on your store, that's going to take them to that campaign. So then after that, you have, uh, you have a lot of different sections. These are all collapsible. See how you can click through like this. So we'll just start top to bottom. So first off, you have add products, and these are the products that you're going to be able to add to those campaigns. So you see here, I got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So I have twelve products on mine. Um, it, you can add as many as you want, or have as few as you want. If you want to add more, you just scroll through your product list. Select a can wrap, press plus, and then we got this nifty little thing and you can go and, and drag them around in order. So another thing to keep in mind too is that um, when someone views your campaign, the first item that you have up here, that's what's going to be showing. Uh, so after we go through this, we'll, we'll look to see how the actual campaign page looks. So you can reorder these items, delete them hit edit, that's gonna take you to that actual product page where you can uh, mess around with the product. So then we have the columns menu and the columns are the different spots over the site that uh, you're gonna be able to put in like lettering, all types of stuff. So on mine, the right column, uh, you know, I'm using a little bit of HTML code in here. So you can, you can put in your um, your code here and then click the visual part and see how it's actually going to look. So this isn't rendering because it's only going to render when the, uh, when the campaign's actually viewed. So you also have these short codes you can put in too. So if you put this whole parentheses thing here, this name, that's going to pull in the first name, last name, form, and there's a personalization form. So that, that allows you to, uh, input a name and have the preview button uh, manual form does the manual personalization you can have a timer you can do uh, the product description too so you can have like a little section when when you click uh, or when you put in this product description part whatever product gets clicked here if they have a description set on them it's going to render that on the page um, so let's go down right column two so these are all like just other little areas um, where you can uh, uh, put in this information. So, you know, we got you know the guaranteed safe and secure checkout. Uh, you know, a lot of a lot of column areas. Then you got your left columns, footer single column. So uh, this is going to be towards the bottom ish of the page in the middle. Uh, if you're a mega store or mini store. Uh, owner, you're going to probably have happy customer testimonials in there. Uh, footer left content, that's what's over here. You know, have our quality guarantee. Footer right side, you know, I got my privacy policy and all that. Uh, bottom with full box, that's at the very, very bottom. Campaign content, you can just have uh, additional information about, about your specific campaign. Menus here, so if we go custom menu, so you're going to have your logo up at the top. The menu part is in the header. So whatever links I have set here, so say if I set one uh, shop and the text, I just want to do uh, say a link back to my store. So I could go I could set in a link there. Uh, you could set in up to three. 
uh, links. So whatever you want to do with that uh, external URL. So this one you can um, you can set up down here. You see how these labels are. You can have multiple links in a drop down. Uh, I elected not to go with that, so I just have a home that's taking me back home. Page styling. <coughs> So page styling allows me to, uh, I can activate a header, so I can have a custom header, no header. Cart image, I already set mine in my business settings, so I don't really have to worry about this here. And if you don't have this set at all, it's always gonna default to a tiny little shopping cart icon. So you're always gonna have a cart there no matter what. Logo image, I got my logo. Again, I already had it set in business settings, so I don't really need to worry about this. Header background color, so you can edit all these colors. I like to go with the Formula Golf green, so I got a green border, menu color, and then you can uh, elect to have a footer or not have a footer at all. I want a footer because I like having the quality guarantee and whatnot. Same thing, you can change the background color. Background type, you can do color or an image. So if you want to have, uh, say, some type of repeating pattern, you can have that image set. Same with the body background color, or you can have a transparent body, content area, title size, title color. So let's say title size, I want to set this to, uh, let's go 30 pixels. Uh, then I have title color. So thumbnail right, so when you're going to be viewing the campaign, you have one, usually the image is on the left-hand side. This just elects to put it on the right. Activate zoom if people want to have that nice mouse over hover when they're looking at the products Form position it's the same thing uh, form position is for uh, those manually personalized fields And this is where you could set the placeholders. I, I don't have any personalized products on this campaign um, But so you would put in if uh, you'd be enter your first name so I could be like Jeff uh, second name be like Chris and the same thing going down here uh, form button text so that's going to be the the button that people are clicking to do their uh, personalization so I could a preview for that or you could say you know personalize me you know it's it's up to you what you want to put And then you could change the button color here. Um, you know, I can go with like a nice yellow or something. Or I guess we'll go with a darker kind of formula golf green color. Select name case description. So you can have it set to, um, it always go to uppercase, always go to lowercase, have the first letter uppercase or whatever the customer types in that field. That's what's going to pop up for those manually personalized fields. Activate size guide links. So if you have that, you can. Um, if if you have a size guide image, you can uh, you can uh, have that in there, and so you can select that image, and that's going to pop up here. Uh, we have a buy button image. So I have mine set there. Activate scarcity graphics. So when you select that, it's gonna have a little uh, like a countdown bar, and it's gonna say how how much inventory you have left. So say I want to be like I only have twenty of these left, and I have to activate scarcity graphics. You're gonna see it'll, it'll uh, it's only gonna show that I have a couple products left. Creates that sense of urgency. Activate timers. The same thing. It's going to activate that timer with the little countdown. You can set the time to whatever you want. Activate discount offer. So whatever discount I have set up, I don't have any. Uh, thank you page. So this, this was also set in the business settings. But if you didn't, you can select your own thank you pages for spe specific campaigns. Purchase confirmation emails also set in business settings. But you can set it here as well. Exit pop-up. So if the, if the user on your store is mousing out, say they're going to close the tab, I could create an exit pop-up that's going to pop up over the screen. Say I have a, a discount or something, you know, wait, don't go. That's going to pop up there. 
and uh, and hopefully keep keep users on your site and making sales. So um, then you have this uh, these notifications too. So you can do a recent sales pop up. That's going to come in the bottom corner when people are on those campaigns. You know, it's going to say another fan ordered a product or something, or you can have testimonials if you have the T Rex testimonial plugin installed. And you can have a testimonial, you know, I, I love this shirt or something like that. Uh, recent sales pop up that's popping up with here. And then again, for these individual campaigns, you can have page view tracking code, conversion pixel tracking code, and, and cart tracking code. So um, now we have the Facebook sharing information. So if someone shares this to Facebook, you can have a uh, certain info pop up in that little tag. So I could be like, uh, you know, I could set my my title here. I can add a little description, and then I can add um, I can add a product image too. So say I want to market this hat here, and so I'm going to change this up. Be like. Something like that, a little cheesy, but it'll do. So you could set that, and once once you have that set in there, anytime it's being shared on on Facebook or something, that's going to pop up. You're going to have this nice image with a title, with a little description that you set for that, and that's going to link back to this specific campaign. So we now we have our cart settings, cart page title. So we'll change this. We just have our title there. We have a card notice. So that's if we have any issues. Uh, banner notice. Uh, I don't have a banner set, but you can also set whatever text that you want for the banner. And then we can enable these manually personalized fields if we have any personalized products. Then you have your default payment option. So you can elect to do Stripe or PayPal uh, button text. So say I want to go like uh, go home or something. <clears throat> Change the background colors to that. Light box title. We have the cart. So when people are checking out what they want to go to, set in business settings, but you can set it here. And then continue shopping button link. I forgot what my URL is. So after you're done there, you're going to click update. And uh, let's see how the see how this campaign looks. Okay, so this is how the campaign looks. This is that right-hand side text. So you can select the size here. I got my, my sizes set up from the products it's pulling in. I got my icon showing. You can click through. Each time you're going to select a product, it's going to bring you back up. And uh, yeah, so that you have your collection of products. I got my quality guarantee, my secure checkout. I got my pop-up. And yeah, so that covers campaigns.